Hi, boys and girls. My name is Miss Connolly. I've been making videos at home so I can help everybody keep learning during this crazy time. So let's get started. Today for math time, we're going to be thinking about reading numbers from words. We're going to have to practice writing the number that we hear or that we read. And I also want you thinking about representing it. Okay, so parents, I have written the website down here of how I got to this page. It's also right here, but just in case you didn't see that, I put it down here for you. If you are watching this on TV and you're at home, I'm gonna show you how to draw it on paper too. All right, so let's get started. 421, notice the word and is not there. We're not saying that when we're talking about whole numbers, okay? 421, so I wanna think about First of all, as you know, there's a hundreds place. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of place values, but the ones we're tackling today is the hundreds place. And then we also have a tens place and a ones place. Sorry, it's really hard to write in this. So hundreds, tens, ones, okay? And when we're thinking about writing this number, we are going to be thinking about which digit goes in which place value. And we're gonna be thinking about what is the value of that digit when we write it, okay? So when we think about 421, I am thinking to myself that I think there might be four groups of 100 and that I would write the digit four in the hundreds place, 400, okay? That makes sense to me, so I'm gonna move on. Then I'm gonna be thinking about the rest of the number that they gave, 21. Well, I know that 20 is two groups of 10, so I'm thinking the digit two goes in the tens place. Then 21, I'm thinking the one might represent the groups of one that I have, and the digit one goes in the ones place. So now I wanna check to make sure I'm correct. Does this number match these words? Okay, and if you make sure you watch the last video about reading and writing three digit numbers, it's gonna help you understand. So I see four, and I say the word 100, 400, and I say this together, 21. So all together, 400, 21. Okay, so now I wanna see how I can represent this. So I'm thinking, Four is the digit in the hundreds place, so that tells me I have four groups of 100. So I'm gonna go 100, one group of 100, two groups of 100, three groups of 100, four groups of 100, okay? Then I'm gonna be thinking about how many groups of tens do I need? And I have a, the digit two in the tens place, which means I need two groups of 10, which represents the number 20. And I'm gonna go over what each block, um, each of these represents in just a second. Then I have a one in the ones place, so I am going to take one single block and place it here. And I see that I have four groups of 100, two groups of 10, and one one. So I see that I have 400, plus 20, this is gonna come up on your expanded form video, friends, and I have one. And I know that if I wrote that number in standard form, which is what we call this, I have 421, okay? So I'm gonna go over, I promise, what I meant by uh, what I, how you would write it on paper with this representation. But first I wanna explain the representation because I might've gotten a little ahead of myself. So we have groups of one as these single blocks here, okay? Then what happens here with our groups of 10 is you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You have a group of 10 ones, which you know is a group of 10. So there's 10 single blocks in here all put together, and that is one group of 10. So we can count this 10, 20. Okay, we can count those ones by tens, these long strips. And if they're going sideways, still 10. All right, so then we have these bigger things that um, if you use the same curriculum I do, might be called sheets of 100, okay? So what this is, is this 100 
groups of this little guy. There is a hundred ones on this sheet. So it's a one group of a hundred ones. Or if you want to think about it another way, we could fit 10 of these on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On this sheet of a hundred, there are ten groups of ten. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100. So you can think of this as a sheet of 100. You can think about it as 10 groups of 10, or you can think about it as 100 ones, okay? In this um, representation, we're thinking about representing the four groups of 100 with the bigger sheets, the two groups of 10 with the strips, and then the one single with the one. Okay, so at home, if you are not on a computer right now, what could you do? Well, you can represent this with squares. So the squares would represent the 100. Now, am I going to fill this in and try to make 100 little squares? That'd be crazy. Okay, so for all intents and purposes, we are going to make this represents a sheet of 100. Okay. Then in order to represent our strips of 10, you are gonna draw long strips. And then to represent our single one group of one over there, you're going to make a little dot, okay? So we still see four groups of 100, two groups of 10, and one one. All right, so let's move on to one more example, or well, we have two more examples to tackle here. If we get excited, I might do another one. All right, so let's read this number. It says 309, okay, 309. And this time, I'm going to think about maybe making the representation first. Whatever is most comfortable to you, you do first. Whatever one makes most sense to you. So I see that they want me to say 300. So I know how many groups of 100 do I need? I need three groups of 100. So I am going to take, oh, those are big. We don't need that big. Okay, I am going to take three groups of 100. Let me move this back down. Three groups of 100. And I feel confident that that represents the 300. Then it says nine. So I'm going to think on this one. Do I need any groups of 10? 309. I don't think so. I don't hear 20, 30, 40. I don't see a teen after this. I just see nine. So I think that might be nine singles. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So I'm wondering, what do I see in my representation? I see three groups of 100, which is 300, and I see nine. So how do we write that? Some of us um, might be thinking that we need to see a three and a nine. Okay, so let's think about a three and a nine. And then we have to double check if the way that we wrote our number is correct. So if I read this number here, I see 39. So I see the three and the nine, I know I need those digits, but when I put these two together, I just see a tens place and a ones place. So something went wrong and I have to try again. So. When you're double checking, which we always double check in math, of course you know that, your teachers must say it 100 times. We wanna double check, so this is a no, don't do that, all right? We wanna think about, we have a hundreds place, a tens place, and a ones place, okay? Hundreds, tens, and then ones. I always write, I like to write out the ones so it doesn't look like a zero, okay? So the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. So when I'm thinking about how many groups of 100 do I have, I have three groups of 100. So the digit three goes in the hundreds place. 
and that represents, or the value of this is 300. Then I think about the tens. Are there any strips of tens here? So what do we do when there's no strips of 10? We think about putting the digit zero there. Then we think about how many groups of one do we have? And we have nine ones. Okay, so now we're gonna double check to make sure we wrote the number correctly. Three hundred nine. So did we write 309? Does our place value representation match? And then if you're at home and you are writing this on a notebook, you're drawing three sheets of 100 and then nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're drawing 309 looking like that. All right, we have one more example and then I have a bunch for you to try. All right, last one, 200, <laughs> well, that's not correct. Hold on, 230, okay? So we're gonna be thinking about 230. So let me just put us um, our hundreds, no, nope. hundreds, tens, ones up here. I think that they're gonna make me make this smaller. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. And we're going to get started. So 230, um, let's get started. So 200. So how many groups of 100 do you think we need? That's right, two. So we're going to pull out our 200. Then it says 30. So I ask myself, am I thinking about groups of one or am I thinking about groups of 10? And I know that I say 30 when I'm counting by tens and counting by ones, but I know that 30 represents three groups of 10. So I am gonna get my three groups of 10. Do we need to represent anything in the one, any groups of one? If we have just 30, do we have 30 here? 10, 20, 30. So have we already represented that part of it? This is too small, so I'm just gonna write over here. So we have hundreds, tens, and ones. So how many groups of 100 do we have? We have two groups of 100, so that goes in the hundreds place. How many groups of 10 do we have? We have one, two, three groups of 10. The digit three goes in the tens place, and that the value of this number right now is 30, and then, we don't have any singles or groups of one. So just like last time, we can't leave it like this because that says 20, if you just write this, that says 23, okay? So we have to show that there are zero groups of one and that's how we get this number 230, okay? And then here's your representation if you're writing it on paper at home. So. What did we learn? A lot, <laughs> let's review. So we learned that um, when we're reading this number, we can take the numbers that are put in words and we can write them in standard form here, okay? We also thought about how many groups of 100 we have, how many groups of 10 that we have, and what those represent. And then we wrote the number in standard form, okay? This is a representation that can go on paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you three um, sets of numbers in words, and I'll read them out loud to you, okay? And I want you to practice writing the number and representing the number. So you can either get to this website with your parents' help, or you can just draw the squares and the strips and the singles if you need them um, on your own. So here's your numbers, are you ready? The first one, and I'm gonna read it out loud to you, 642. So you are gonna try representing and writing as a number in standard form, 642. The next one, 807. So you're gonna practice representing and writing as a number 
807. Then your last one that you're going to be working on is 460. So I want you to either write down, uh, or sorry, I want you to do both. I want you to represent and I want you to write in standard form, which just means the way we usually see a number that we're used to, 460. Okay, so I'll repeat those. 642, 807, 460. And I really enjoyed this time with you today. If you go to the school that I teach at, I can't wait to see you again. Okay, bye.